okay so hello uh, this is a really quick video I remembered that at one point I told you guys I was going to show you how to make my vegan smoothie and as you guys know if you're eating a fruitarian lifestyle meaning you eat 80 percent carbs from fruit you eat 10 percent fat from your fruits and vegetables and 10 percent protein from fruits and vegetables that in order to have enough energy throughout the day you have to have a lot of carbs so for me at my height and weight it's around 800 okay so I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see it's coming there we go okay so these are dates um, when you peel them open there's a, a seed in the middle it's actually really 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 soft so it's easy to kind of pull apart if that makes sense let me here we go okay so this is the seed. Basically, you just take the seed out and the little the little stub there, and then you throw that right in your in your blender, which I've already done. Also, you're gonna need about five bananas, and I mean ripe bananas. So your peels should look like that. They should be spotty, but they shouldn't have like big black marks on them. And that's because you get the best uh, sugar out of them. Also, I went with skippy natural you can make in at least i have an expensive blender so i can make peanut butter but i don't have time for that today because i'm on my way out to work also let's head over to the refrigerator my daughter's at work so i usually have her do this part so i went with organic coconut milk um you guys can see i've got smoothies and alcohol um but strawberries uh romaine lettuce we've got some cauliflower back there lots of grapes Avocado. So we went to the farmer's market, you know. Um, so my refrigerator, this is uh, more grapes. Actually, some of the grapes we got huge this year. Look at this. Let's see if I can open that so you can see it. There we go. That is not a little grape. There we go. It's trying to hide. It's bashful. Anyhow, so um, organic coconut milk. You can use almond milk. You can use whatever you, you know, like to use. I just stay away from soy because soy has been shown to cause cancer in people. So, in my blender, I put approximately 30 ounces of cold water. I put another 10 to 15 ounces of soy milk. I threw in the dates and then you blend them up. Now, this part, if you don't have a great mixer, I usually have my ninja sitting in here, but my husband was like, well, you know, maybe later. So anyways, um, when you put the dates in, it's important that you do those first because they are mushy, but they don't exactly, um, they don't break down well. So in other words, if I put the bananas and the dates and the peanut butter and everything in there at the same time, um, the dates, you would have chunky bits, and I don't like that. If you like that, go ahead. So anyways, usually takes about a minute or so in a good high-speed blender to mix up your dates. Then you open and add, oh, look at that, I made a mess. Um, then you open and add into your blender um, I do five bananas in here. I do uh, my cacao powder. What I probably put it back away. That's there we go. Looks like this. Organic cacao powder. So you can use that. Um, I've also from time to time used. Here we go. I want to show you an unopened bag so you guys know what to get from the store. Okay, there we go. Mini chips dairy nut and soy free um and these are carob chips okay so that's the vegan alternative to chocolate does it taste exactly like chocolate no but it's sweet and it has the same texture um and and it does have a little bit of the the flavor okay so i put about two tablespoons of that in put my five bananas in put about two heaping tablespoons and what i'm not saying the regular little mixer i'm talking about a nice kitchen size spoon two heaping spoonfuls of peanut butter in and mix and then you open up the top of your blender i like to add my my ice through the top because otherwise you have to open close open close and it helps it melt and you don't get chunks of um of ice all throughout your your drink so you blend and again when you blend this you're going to blend for maybe a total of two minutes on a nice high speed blender so you do all that when you're done this is what you're left with okay so it's not super thick it's not the consistency of say a milkshake um if you want a milkshake just add or consistency just add a little less water but i'm also consuming water with this so there you go so that's what i do now here's the kicker 
I work, obviously, by day as an ultrasound tech. I'm going to flip you around while I rinse out my sink because I made a little mess here. Um, so I work as an ultrasound tech by day, and I'm building my home-based business at night. And so today I'm being sent to Oroville Paradise. And for those of you that don't know, that's probably a good two-and-a-half-hour drive one way there. And so when you try to take this smoothie on the road with you, um, I've tried. Let me show you what I've tried. I've tried putting it in two of these. That didn't work so well. I've tried taking it in an open cup, but if it spills, you're in bad shape. And not only are you in bad shape with the open cup, but this obviously is not going to hold that. <laughs> bad, bad. Okay. Um, you can probably see in the back things that I've attempted to try to take, you know, large containers. I just haven't found them. So anyways, I was at Sam's Club probably a week or so ago. A couple days, actually, and I found this. Um, this holds at least 72 ounces, which is what that is. And so here's the answer to how you take smoothies with you, especially if you're eating vegan. So what you do is you take your gigantic container. Look at how big this is. It's huge. Um, huge. It was about $15 at Sam's Club. And then you go ahead and you dump your smoothie contents in. The other thing I do is take, now in this case, I will take a cup and um, pour from my big container. This one has a, a spout on it, which is why I decided to, um, to, to film this. It has a spout. Pour that into a regular size cup, something with a lid, again, going back to this. Yeah, so it's got a lid and a straw. And then throughout the day, just keep refilling that. Now, truth be told, this is supposed to be about one meal, one vegan meal. 15 dates, five bananas, peanut butter, cacao powder. Carb-wise, it's probably about 250, 275, which is about right, maybe 300 for a vegan meal, especially for my height and weight. So um, if you're taller than me or heavier than me, you may need more carbs. And if you're smaller than me and more petite, you may need less carbs throughout your day. But only carbs from fruit, only. Don't try to go mix in and put in bread and, you know, all this other stuff. It needs to come from fruit. Otherwise, you can become quite sick. So make sure you're, when you're eating a fruit lifestyle, nothing else. Anyways, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys my smoothie. Love you guys lots and see you on the next video. Bye.